on the 1st of July at 17.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket blasted off from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The rocket carried the United States Space Force 12 mission for the U.S. Space Force's Space Systems Command. For this mission, ULA used the Atlas V's 541 configuration. The 5 stands for the 5 meter diameter fairing that protects the payload during atmospheric flight. The 4 is for the strap on solid rocket boosters. The 1 here means there's only one RL 10 engine on the Centaur second stage for this particular flight. This mission carried two satellites. The forward satellite, the first to be released, is the wide field of view satellite for the US Space Force's Space Sensing Directorate. It is a testbed spacecraft designed to explore future missile warning algorithms with data collected in space. It will inform the next-gen Overhead Persistent Infrared Missile Warning System, or OPER. The aft satellite is called the US Space Force 12 Ring Satellite. It is a classified payload for the Space Systems Command Innovation and Prototyping Directorate. Both satellites were released into geosynchronous orbit, which is approximately 22,000 miles or 36,000 kilometers above the equator. Let's listen in to the countdown. Four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USSF-12 for the United States Space Force. Pitch over program, body range look good. NPU's gone to closed loop. System response looks good. Now 20 seconds. At 1 minute and 48 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters were jettisoned, followed by the remaining two solid rocket boosters three seconds later. At 4 minutes and 24 seconds into flight, the first stage main engines were shut down. Stage separation occurred six seconds later. At 5 hours and 43 minutes into flight, the RL-10 engine on the Centaur second stage performed its final burn to take the spacecraft its planned orbit. The wide field of view satellite was released at 5 hours and 49 seconds, followed by the USSF ring satellite at 6 hours and 5 minutes. This was the 94th launch of the Atlas V rocket and the 151st overall ULA mission, with a 100% success rate. Congratulations, ULA! Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please hit that like button. It will be an honor for us to have you as our first subscribers. So hit subscribe and click that notification bell. Add a comment and share the video on social media. Your support means a lot and will help us grow this new channel. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram.